Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading for May 10th through the 20th. Your rune this week is the Gibo rune, the rune of gift. And if you've been a subscriber for a while, you know that gift does not mean a package wrapped with a bow. Necessarily, it could. But it also could be the gift of a hug or a sunset or somebody made you cookies, you know. Gifts are not necessarily material things. Your Stone People card is Eagle Medicine, looking at things from a higher perspective and taking in the big picture. Your spirit animal is Rabbit, which is all about fear. And it asks you to look at your fears and where they come from. Sign and symbol card is the Peace Pipe and Compromise. Okay, so this is the first reading I have ever done where our little elephants came up. So you got two elephants, very interesting. This one is Onyx. It is protective. It helps with change. It removes stress. Helps you to know yourself, heal old wounds, and is malleable, goes with the flow. Onyx is known as the warrior stone. Oh, we have the giveaway ceremony and release. Releasing things that are no longer good for you. Releasing people. Releasing material things. Releasing uh, even your emotions. And Sister Moon says... <laughs> What do you need to release? How interesting. The protection guardian says to drop your shields. Drop your walls. That's hard to do. But that's where I think this fear is coming in. You need to release all that fear. And then oh, frog spirit. Look at that. Clear out the clutter. So with this line here, wow, we have three things. Uh, they're all really about release. Okay, your second stone is opalite, our little opalite elephant. Personal power, self-esteem, inner strength, calm and soothing, and stabilizes mood swings. So this is going to bring you some more power and self-esteem to help you get over your fears here. Peyote Ceremony says you will be learning new abilities. Sister Moon, look at that. Work through your fears. The arrow, surround yourself with protective energy. And porcupine spirit. Time for a beginner mind to go back to when you were little and nothing scared you. Instead of everything scaring you. Okay, your third stone is malachite. That means that we're going to have some movement here at the end. Because malachite is all about transformation, openness, love controlling your emotions. It is known as spring, bursting with new life, and the turnover a new leaf stone. So let's see how this progresses. If you do the work, ah, rites of passage, and change comes. Once you get rid of these fears, surround yourself with protective energy, then change. Sister Moon says it's time to release <laughs> negativity. Mm -hmm. The sage says to be devoted and committed to doing this. 
and spider spirit. Make your dreams real, one strand at a time. So this is all about your mind. What is in your mind? Looking at the big picture, trying to figure out why am I so afraid to do this or try this or say that? Getting past that and then change can occur. Okay, your quote for this week is, what you are not changing, you are choosing. So I wanted to let you know that I now have, I'm on Instagram at stone underscore people underscore wisdom. And um, I'm going to be setting up a PayPal link to be in the description box so that you can purchase a painting, a pendant, or a personal reading. So peace, love, and light. Until next time.